Today, we're opening one of Yu-Gi-Oh's rarest products that you've probably never seen before. What's up, guys? We're back with another epic product opening. This one, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this one. If you've been around for over a year on the channel, you may have seen me open this one other time before, but it wasn't actually sealed. This time, we're opening a sealed version. But before we get into what it is, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know what you think about this product. Let's just go ahead and get into the opening. All right, guys, so the item that we are opening is an item that I've opened before, but this time it's sealed. We have a Dimension of Chaos Special Edition. So you might be like, wait, Dimension of Chaos, they had a special edition? In the US, they did not have a special edition, but in Europe, which as you can tell, it's the smaller size special edition box, they did have a special edition Dimension of Chaos. So I once opened this product, but it was an unsealed version. I also showed off this sealed version in the video and said, we're not gonna open that at the moment. A year later, actually over a year later, I decided it was time to open it up. We actually did not open this in the every special edition opening because I didn't even think it existed at first. I saw that where it said there was one of these and I could never find even a picture of one. So I ended up finding this and uh, yeah, so I missed something on the every special edition opening, unfortunately. If you've missed that video though, go watch it. It's a good one, it's long, lots of awesome openings. But uh, let's open this up for a little redemption today. I also threw in a few extra packs because there's a weird thing about this special edition that I'm gonna talk about as we get into it, but let's go ahead and crack it open. So the reason that I added some extra packs in is because the way they do European special editions, or at least these, is they would put all three packs into one like cellophane pack and it was like a giant mega pack except for it didn't even have like a pack wrapper on it it was just cellophane so you basically get three packs in one so there's basically only 10 packs inside of this versus having 30 in a regular like u.s special edition so what you can see here is we get the 10 mini boxes here if you know in the u.s we have the thicker you know thicker and taller ones this one contains one cellophane pack and also has the super rare variant cards i don't remember where exactly those are they might be outside the pack let's just i don't know let's just go into it. it's been a while since I've opened this. Kind of excited to do this again because, you know, I might never open this product again. We have, yeah, as you guys can see, look, it's literally everything in there, including the promos, the packs, the, the foils. If you already get a foil, it's going to be in here somewhere. It's the weirdest thing ever. So Fried for a Tiger, this would have been the promo. I mean, it's kind of in the pack. It's very strange the way they do it. I don't love it, actually. I think it's kind of a bad way to do it because, I mean, everybody likes opening the pack, you know, and the mystery. This feels a little bit more like a, like a custom mystery pack or something. So it's a little bit weird. So there's our two promos right there. If you do get a foil, I think it's right in the middle. So if we get like a Ghost Rare, you know, Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend, which we pulled four times on the channel it's been a long time though so i'd be love to i'd be love i'd love to do it again we got the contract change let's just see what we can do i don't know what kind of value this thing's even worth because i haven't seen one in a while didn't check ebay to see if maybe one had popped up but uh yeah it's it's a pretty hard one to find i don't know how much it costs i can't even remember what i paid for it it was uh it was part of a larger deal i believe a contract laundering we have gradle slime so there's a rare i think you get your three rares in a row so i think it goes rare rare there's a radiant that's actually a pretty good card and rare so magic specter unicorn so we just go over three. Oh no i forgot you can get you get rares and foils so here's our foil so you get three rares in a row foils are not guaranteed in this because this came out right before they started doing guaranteed foils so gradle dragon oh wait what is it stuck together and gradle eagle so it looks like we got one foil out of our three packs it's the weirdest way to open packs plush fire i think that's banned weirdest way to open packs because you open them up you get all your foils at once like one two three if you got three it'd be insane we actually pulled two band cards out of that one pack or three packs i guess you could call it but that was an interesting opening right there but i also threw in these other packs so it wouldn't be you know too quick of an opening because as you just saw we opened three packs at once so that can really speed up your opening let's do two from the back this is ghost from the past two i've thrown in uh some legendary collection 25th packs we've got some ghost packs a lot of fun stuff. We have Despia and we have Vision Hero Increase. All right, let's do a Ghost from the Past one. And also while we're doing this, I want to shout out Pokey Rux. Pokey Rux is the channel where I do like Pokemon, like Nuzlocke runs and stuff like that. I've been doing a lot of content on Twitch and on Poker Rux. So go check that out. If you guys are interested in that stuff at all, I would really appreciate it because we're 100 watch hours away from being monetized. We're at 3,900 out of 4,000. So we're really, really close. So if you guys want to do that, let's get a Ghost Hero real quick. Nope, didn't happen. It would be really helpful if you guys did that for the Poker Rux channel. I know a lot of you guys are not into Pokemon and that is totally fine. I'm not forcing you guys to go over there or anything, but anybody who is interested, go check it out. I think my editor for the Poker Rux channel has done some really good stuff. I think he's very interesting and we're going to be putting out a lot more content. I got plans for over there. So if you guys kind of want to go check it out, that'd be really awesome. And I would appreciate it. Those are our two uh, promos right there and it would help out that channel. So here we go. We have Magic Specter Fox and being monetized would be pretty cool so we don't lose money as much on that channel. We have Magic Specter Storm. We have the Savant Kepler. 
The Cosmo Wicked Witch, very nice. The Contract Laundry. DD Scroll Spawn. We have the Contract Change, where our rares. We have Soul Claw. We have Skilled Red Magician. For some reason, it's kind of hard to see these cards, like the names. I don't know why. Sphere Karibo was in here. I forgot about that. Dueling Staple. We have a Pendulum area. Give us a Ghost Rare. Come on. Uh, Vector Pendulum, the Draco Lord. That is a super. We'll take it. And Cradle Impact. So no, nothing else. No more foils. There's so many cards in here because it's three full packs. Like, what is that? Like 27 cards total? All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go to Dark Crisis 25th Anniversary. Open this up. Such a weird opening, man. Do Dimension of Chaos Special Editions. They're crazy. Little Wingard. They almost feel like they're not a legit product with the way that you open them. I've never seen anything like it. Chaos. We have Fairy of the Spring. We have Contract of the Abyss and a Dark Scorpion, Manet the Thorn. Okay, Dimension of Chaos number three. So far, we've gotten two supers. So I would like something above a super. In this set, you can get Ghost Rare, as I mentioned, Scarlet, Red Dragon, Archfiend. There's four Ultimate Rares, I believe, in the set. And then there's Secret Rares as well. Of course, Ultra Rares and Supers. We've already seen some Supers. Got a couple of Supers right there. Contract Launder, got Super Soldier Soul, Super Every Samurai Drone, got the Dark Contract. This is like a mega pack on the live streams, except for it's, uh, you know, a legit Konami product. Imagine if they made legit mega packs. That'd be cool. You just buy the foils. If we could wait, we have Gradle Cobra, Psychic Blade, the Didi Burfamet, Sphere Karibo again, Dueling Staple. We have the Rank Up Magic Raid Force, and we have... Oh, we got no foils in this one. Oh. All right, so we went over three on that special edition. Two fluffle wings, though. Pretty cool. All right, next up, Ghost from the Past 2. Let's go. We have the Didi Lamia, the Agent of Mystery, Domain of the True Monarch, Crimson Knight Vampire, and a Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. It's a cool looking card, but I don't think it's too valuable now because it's been reprinted, you know, well, really only once, but, you know, it's easy to pull out of this set. Seven more special editions. Dimension of Chaos. Come on, give us a ghost rare. How sick would that be if I've had this just sitting in a sealed box? A ghost rare. I always wonder, like, with all my boxes I have behind me and stuff, how many, like, ghosts are in there? You know, ulties. Like, what if there's a crazy good card, like a huge misprint that I've never pulled because it's just been sitting sealed for a while? I don't know. Magic Spectre Storm. Contract change, so I don't know. That could be a thing. I always think about that. Gradle Cobra, I don't know how you guys feel about your sealed product. Let me know. Do you guys ever think that if you have sealed product laying around? Shuffle Reborn, we have Super Rush Headlong. That's a Duel Link special as well. Gradle Split. They basically took docks and just made Duel Links. We have, what is this? Giant Pearfish? I don't remember that one. Super Soldier Ritual, that's not bad either. Here we go. A Gateway to Chaos, all right. Super, can we get something better than that? Uh, are they, is there anything better than a super in here? I feel like last time we pulled all supers too. Hmm, interesting. It makes you wonder, hmm, do they actually go better than super out of here? I can't remember. I can't remember if we ever got anything better. All right, Ghost from the Past 1, let's go. Give us the Dark Magician, please. Sunvine Healer would be insane. Time to fly back. Ooh, nothing there. Okay, just an Ultra Rare. That's fine. Let's go on to our... This is our last special edition of the right side of the box. So this could be a game changer. All we've had so far is I think three supers out of four special editions. So this we would consider a dud of a special edition opening. Let's change it now. We have more promos. So I mean, technically we have a lot of super rare promos, but those are guaranteed. So it doesn't mean much. We have super soldier, psychic blade. Have we gotten more than one super per pack? I think I remember this. You were getting like one super every time. Magic Spectre Storm, we have Savon Kepler. We have Cosmo Wicked Witch. The Mirror Conductor, the Performo Pal Splash Mammoth Dumbo. We have, ooh, Gamma Seal, the Sea Turtle Kaiju. That's a good one. DDD Wave King Caesar. It's also pretty good. And a Magic Spectre Cat Nekomata. Oh, and a Galilei. Man, more supers. Can we get something that's not a super, please? I mean, it were a rare or common. I'm just going to clarify. Okay, 10 total packs left, including five special editions, which are, I'm counting as one pack, even though there's more than that. One, two, three for the Spell Ruler pack. Can we get Blue Eyes 2? We got Crab Turtle. We got Slot Machine, Ceremonial Bell, Hamburger Recipe, Labyrinth Wall, Amoeba, and a painful choice. It's been painful having to choose. Well, it really hasn't been that painful. We didn't really make any choices here today, honestly, but it would have been painful in theory. All right, left side of the special edition box. Gotta be better, right? Gotta have some ultra secrets, ultis, maybe even a ghost. Who knows? I don't know. It's pretty hard to pull ultis out of these because there are only four in the total set. Like, they kind of cut back on ulties here right before they got rid of them, which is, you know, a sad thing that they did. We have Perform Age, Mirror Conductor. That's two promos. Shuffle Reborn for our Monster Reborn. Cosmo. Kayubi. We got the Dark Contract Swamp King, the Despot 006. Mirror Conductor, Super Soldier Rebirth. Super Heavy Samurai Drone. We got Great Oak Cobra. Super Heavy Samurai Soul Claw. Super Soldier Rebirth. We have Gamma Seal again. That's a good one. 
Toon Barrel Dragon, also a pretty good rare. Giant Parafish again, and an Ultra Rare Fright for Sabertooth. We finally got one. This was like a $20 card back when we were opening this set a lot. Then it got a reprint. Now it's like less than a dollar, I think. And then Great Illegal. So now I'm wondering, okay, you can actually really see on this card. This is like the the euro looking ultra you can tell i don't know if you guys can tell but it's a little bit more euro-y i don't remember if you can get can you get two foils because if you can get two foils out of this it's a little messed up because it's like they combine three packs all with the potential of a foil into one with the potential of only one foil that's bad i don't think that's how it works but it's feeling like that so far all right ioc here we go i mean i'll take that ultra rare. that was nice one two three now we just need a secret ulti and ghost to end it off we have chaos necromancer primal seed ojama black dd borderline Inferno, Prickle Fairy, Compulsory Evacuation Device, and a Yellow Luster Shield. So IOC, got nothing for you. Four special editions left. I still have hope for a Ghost Rare. I don't care if it's only one foil, if it's a Ghost Rare. How about that? Let's make it happen. Or Error Box with all Ghost Rares. Every card in this pack, so 27 Ghost Rares. If that happened, that would be maybe the craziest thing that's ever happened in a Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. <laughs> Can you imagine just being like, Ghost, 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 Contract Chain, Shuffle Reborn, Despot 006, Raid Raptor Wild Vulture, Contract Chains, Ignite Veteran, we have Kaiju Capture Mission, the Kayubi, Game of Seal, that's a third one, that's nice, we got the Samurai Cavalry of Reptier, I can't see it straight on, the name is just like, I don't know, it's not capturing it, Radiant, another Kaiju, and the Great Old Parasite, super, come on, another foil, let's go, come on, another foil, let's go, come on, come on, oh, 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 we got a Synchro back there, oh, Okay, maybe it doesn't mean anything then. Dang it, Despot Jet gave me hope. I thought we had something. Ah, oh, Synchros always look like they're going to be a foil for some reason. All right, so six out of seven special editions have had one foil. The other one had zero. So, hmm, interesting. One, two, three. Let's see. Come on, Pharaoh Servant. Oni Tank Rooks in 34. Good to see it. We got Sky Scout, a.k.a. Harpy's brother. Grotto, Solomon's Law Book. Red Reign of Mercy, Inspection, Prohibition, and Bombardment. Beetle. Still three more chances on special editions of Dimension of Chaos, AKA Docs. Let's go. Can we get something nice? Docs, come on, come on, you can do this. We have Fright for Tiger. We have Destruction Sword Flash. Ooh, Ruxin Special. We have the Dark Contract with Swamp King. Pot of the Forbidden, I remember this is like a short print. DD Swirl Slime, we have the Storm. Savant Kepler, Super Soldier Rebirth, DD Swirl Slime. We got Ignite Veteran, Gradle Split. So we have a Samurai Thief, we got Savant Kepler. We have a DDD Oblivion King Abyss Ragnarok Rare, Druin Barrel Dragon, also nice, Rank of Magic Raid Force. Gateway to Chaos again, super, and come on, come on. Oh. Bro, it's not again. Another banned card, plush fire. Oh my goodness. Oh, another plush fire, double plush fire in there. Okay, but uh, no double foils, unfortunately. All right, blue eyes, white dragon. Here we go. Three, here we go. Let's pull something amazing. Thunder Beast. We got Wasteland, we got Petite Dragon, Two Mouth Dark Ruler, Dissolve Rock, Silver Fang, Silver Bow and Arrow, Fissure, and a Mountain. Very nice mountain card, but yeah, LOB, 25th anniversary, letting us down again. Who would have thought? All right, two special editions to go. Can we pull a Ghost Rare? We have the promos. All right, Engraver. We have Raid Raptor, Wild Vulture, Super Soldier Soul. We have DD Swirl Slime, Kaiju Capture Mission, Contract Laundering. Samurai Thief, we have Samurai Soul Claw, Super Soldier Rebirth, Dark Contract with the King, a Swamp King, we have Super Soldier, Wicked Witch, Psychic Blade, Radiant again, not bad, we have a Rank Up Magic Raid Force, again, okay, we have Pendulum Area, don't, I don't think we pulled that one yet, and a DD Rebel King Leonidas, and will there be something else afterwards? Ah, no, there will not, oh my goodness, Plush Fire, yet again, appearing. All right, one more pack of Metal Raiders, then one more special edition pack of Docs. This has been not a great opening, I would say. I mean, I don't think we've pulled it. We've pulled what? Painful Choice? That's it? Electric Lizard. We got potential at the Pequeno Moth here, though. That could turn it around. We did pull an Oni Tank Rocks in 34. That's not bad. Rock Ogre Grotto, Soul Release, Steel Scorpion, Elegant Egotist, and a Ryu Kishin Power. All right, our final Dimension of Chaos. Oh, this one got a little bent up. This will probably be the one with a dented ghost rare in it or something. Here we go. How's the, how's the pack look? Looks okay. I don't think anything got too beat up. We have Fright for Tiger. Destruction Sword Flash. We have Contract Laundering. DD Swirl Slime. Can we get a double foil or something above an ultra rare? Either way, I'll be happy. Veteran. 
laundering contract change we got kaiju capture mission shuffle reborn psychic blade magic specter storm so many cards wave king caesar not bad we got oh we got a little bit of a lower name assault blackwing kunai the drizzle that's cool We've got another lowered name, Abyss Ragnarok, and an ultra rare charging Gaia. The Fierce Knight. Is there another foil after this? Please, 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 please. No. So we got nine foils, which is not bad, but, you know, no double foil. So it feels kind of weird. I don't know how those are set up. But all right, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. Uh, and don't forget to... What was I going to say? And uh, go to check out Poke Rocks if you guys want to see, uh, you know, some Pokemon stuff. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Shout out to Toe and Foe Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Mycycle, America Deutster, Supreme Sage 21, and then a tie show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McClain. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.